Welcome to Area DMG. Welcome back to Area DMG, the internet's last mistake. I am your host, Phil Wesley, the Mile High Mouth, and today we're going to look at 10 games for the Game Boy and Game Boy Color that should be ported over to the Nintendo Switch. Or rather, they should be remastered for the Nintendo Switch. Well, the big difference between, say, a port and a remaster is that a, a port takes into effect, like, the uh, um, some certain aspects of the original device, original game, and then kind of um, utilizes them. For example, um, Final Fantasy Adventure, or rather, uh, the first Secret of Mana is available on the Secret of Mana collection on the Nintendo Switch. So that's been ported over because there's no real difference to it. Games like... Uh, Toki Tori have been actually um, remastered for the Nintendo Switch, where they've taken the soul of the game, essentially, and redone it. And this has been inspired, essentially, by, well, there's a few Game Boy remasters that have come to the Nintendo Switch. Particularly, we've had, uh, we had Pokemon Yellow moved over in Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu and Let's Go Eevee, essentially. That's a, essentially a remake of Yellow with um, aspects, you know, which Yellow's remake of Red and Blue with new new items. Blue is actually just green because there was just red and green in Japan and then Red and Blue, which was actually green, came over here and then Yellow was a remake of that. But yeah, this is all inspired because of the remake of, well, Legend of Zelda Dreaming Island or rather Legend of Zelda Link's Awakening. In particular, it looks like it's informed by Legend of Zelda Link's Awakening DX, which ah, I'm looking forward to that. So this video is about Game Boy and Game Boy Color games that need to be ported over to the Nintendo Switch, or rather remastered for the Nintendo Switch. I want them to go and give kind of the Legend of Zelda Dreaming Island or Legend of Zelda Link's Awakening uh, or um, Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu, Let's Go Eevee treatment to these. Or the treatment that happened to Toki Tori. Not the treatment that happened to Secret of Mana, or rather, sorry, Secret, um, the uh, first second Setsu game, or Final Fantasy Adventure. We're talking, you know, rebuilding it into something new. And we're not going to have certain things on the list. I mean, yes, everyone's like, oh, are we going to get Oracle of Ages and Oracle of Seasons? No, yeah, we could, but we don't need it. I mean, yeah, I mean, you know, you know what I mean. I'm going to leave that off the list because it's too obvious. But what's going to be on this list should be hmm, interesting because what we're going to do is we're going to look at games that people might not have thought about porting over to the Nintendo Switch, but we sure as heck need them ported over to the Nintendo Switch as remasters, meaning, you know, all new graphics, all new stuff. Now, another one we're not going to mention is Pokemon um, Card Game which has an online game already, which is okay. I'd like to see that pour over to the Switch with lots of new cards and stuff, and we might see that in the future. So, hmm, that's a possibility, but it's not on our list. Let's actually start with the first thing on our list, which is going to be... Solar Striker. I know what you're thinking, what? Solar Striker? What? Why Solar Striker? Yeah, this is number 10 on my list. This list is, um, eh, it's in kind of an order, but kind of also not in order. Also, because it's not a top 10 list, um, that means I can do another one of these later on with 10 other games. We might do one for the Game Boy Advance, and then one for the Nintendo DS, and then one for the Nintendo 3DS. <gasps> Content! Anywho, Solar Striker. Solar Striker is a, um, top-down shooting game that, uh, is pretty great. We've seen stuff like stuff like this before ported to Nintendo Switch. A remake or a small little DX version of Solar Striker would be instantly charming and great. I think it's a pretty good game and it was put into put together by you know Nintendo and it's a uh, pretty good game. Kind of like a X. That's one of those where they really should bring it over or do something with it in the future. Solar Striker would make a great little $10 game that they could just put, pull out of nowhere, kind of like the uh, like they do with Box Boy, or maybe later in the future with Dylan's Rolling Western. Solar Striker, like Radar Mission or uh, Steel Diver, 
which is Steel Divers, a remake of Radar Mission, um, is something that we could see in the future that I would be pretty welcome to. It's like, come on, let's, let's revive Solar Striker and bring it over to the Nintendo Switch, but specialized. Another one that I think should come over to Nintendo Switch, uh, this is one of a couple third-party games on there. I don't know who owns the license for this, but this game right here, needs to show up on the Nintendo Switch in some form. Somebody, even an indie dev, needs to make this. And I'm talking about Bubble Ghost. I know it's not really, a, it was originally like a PC game, but there's a Game Boy port, and I'm looking at this, I'm like, you know what? This should come to the Nintendo Switch. All new graphics and music and stuff. Somebody needs, somebody has this license somewhere, and somebody needs to resurrect Bubble Ghost and bring it over, because it's a puzzle game where you're uh, blowing a bubble through um, a room and avoiding... It's physics-based. It's just dying to be like a 5 to $10 game on the Nintendo Switch in the eShop. Um, some of these first ones up here are kind of like... I think they would kind of make great little ports for the eShop. And we're going to get that stuff out of the way real quick. Be, before we, we have, we're in fact the third one on this list of ten is another one which I think could be a fantastic eShop quick title, um, quick turnaround maybe mm, what ten months tops, even less than that when it comes to development. You just take the basic idea and you port it on over and it's awesome. And this next one up here would also be awesome, and it's going to be well. <sighs> it's going to be Revenge of the Gator. I know what you're thinking. What? Why Revenge of the Gator and not Kirby's Pinball Land? Well, because they're pinball games and we really do need a Nintendo-developed pinball game. I mean, Revenge of the Gator would be a nice little change of pace, just kind of something out of nowhere where people are like, what is that? And then they download it for like five to ten bucks and they're good to go. Although it would be nice to see this kind of pave the way for something like a Pokemon Pinball, which isn't actually going to be on this list, because there really should be like a, uh, a Pokemon Pinball Deluxe. Let's go ahead and bring that up. Yeah, Pokemon Pinball um, is not going to be on this list, but it's something where we should get like a deluxe version of it, because the last one we had was on the uh, Game Boy Advance. And I kind of want more. You know what I mean? I want more. Anywho, let's get to the next one on our list which is another third-party game, but one that I think could do pretty well on the Nintendo Switch, especially considering that this was kind of retconned out of existence, and I'm sad about that. And I'm going to tell you about it. It's right here. It's Castlevania Legends for the Game Boy. Let's bring it up a little closer. See Castlevania Legends? Castlevania Legends, um, first female main character in the series, like in kind of the proper series, Sonya Belmont. And she was kind of retconned and changed, and I don't like what they did to her, and I'm sad about it, but, oh, a version of this with, like, say, graphics similar to um, Mirror of Fate for the, D for the 3DS um, would be fantastic. It was a Mirror of Fate. The one that was on the 3DS that had kind of like Devil May Cry style or uh, God of War style act, um, button press sequences. But think about it. They could take Castlevania Legends, make it into a larger game in the old Castlevania thing, um, vein, essentially, and it would work. They will have to change some story aspects of it to, make, to fit it back into the canon properly. <laughs> because I really feel they, 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 they really did Sonya wrong. So I believe in Sonya Belmont, and I really wish they'd treated her better, because she was such an awesome character. Anyways, before we get into that, we've got two more, um, well, you know what, we're going to do one more, um, we're going to do a Nintendo-related franchise, aside from Revenge of the Gator, which is another Nintendo franchise, and this is one that, whoo, I think you could do a whole $40 game for this thing. This would be a fantastic game, just add more levels, um, change it up a bit, this would be awesome. And even though I mentioned Kirby's Pinball Land earlier, um, let me tell you about the Superior thing and one of the largest Game Boy games of its time. It was one of the largest Game Boy game packs at about 8, giga, eight megabyte, megabits or so. And it would be Kirby's Block Ball. Now, Kirby's Block Ball 
is essentially um, Arkanoid or Breakthrough or Breakout or whatever you want to call it. And it's with Kirby and it's awesome. This block busting puzzle, puzzly, um, physics based Arkanoid type thing is awesome. And give it a nice fresh coat of paint, spruce it up with some brilliant music, lots of lots of little um, extra boards and levels and challenges. And this would be a full $40, $50 game or so. Just as I'd love to see the same thing happen with the next one on our list, which is number four on our list. And that would be this game. And that is Donkey Kong 94. Now, Donkey Kong 94 was supposed to get a remake on the Game Boy Advance. It never really got a remake on the Game Boy Advance. The Donkey Kong vs. Mario series became kind of this weird thing. But the original Donkey Kong would be fantastic on that system. Now, we're going to go a little further and we're going to go ahead and mention something uh, that would be fantastic on the Nintendo Switch. Um, it's from Bit Studios. And Nintendo, I think, still has license to this. We don't have much much in this vein, and we kind of need it, but it's not going to be on this list. It's an honorable mention, and that would be Warlocked. Now, I've got two copies of Warlocked here because Warlocked is multiplayer. Warlocked is essentially um, StarCraft on the Game Boy Color. It's a cool thing, but we have like Fire Emblem. We just need some more actual like StarCraft-style games on the Nintendo Switch. Yeah, I know there's not a proper mouse for it. But imagine if there was a proper mouse for it. That'd be great. Or even touch touch, touch, touch controls for that. That'd be great. Anywho, um, let's get to the next one on our list, which I've got two on this, two of the same thing here, because this is a game that also contains multiplayer, um, as far as I remember. And it's awesome. And it's Mole Mania. Now, Mole Mania um, on the Game Boy is awesome. It's a puzzle RPG that could use a really great fresh coat of paint. The main character in there is awesome. This is a game that really needs some more respect. And it's a Shigeru Miyamoto type game. It's good stuff. It's pretty good. And it's number four. Four, three, four on our list. So we've got five, six, seven. We've got three more games on here. Now you can probably tell what they're going to be. So we're actually going to dive really quickly into some... Uh, some 3DS game, sorry, not 3DS, uh, some Game Boy Color games, and we're going to go with the next one on this list, which really needs a remake, it just needs a port of some sort, and that is, of course, Metal Gear Solid for the Game Boy Color, otherwise known as Metal Gear Ghost Babble. I just want this ported to something. I mean, Konami, please recognize this game. It's awesome. This is one of the best... Metal Gear games out there. I mean, okay, Peace Walker's pretty good. And, um, oh, 3 is good. But yes, Metal Gear, Gear Ghost Babble would be wonderful on that. We all know it. And let's get into another one that doesn't have multiplayer, but I have multiple copies of it anyways. Wait, it kind of does, because there's some stuff you can do there. And I'm not going to mention the sequel to it, which I actually, I, I do have, but I didn't grab it for this video. And it would be this game over here, which is in one of these little cases, because I'm... I like keeping things in cases if they're pretty valuable, and that would be Survival Kids. Now, there was a remake of the, these type, this type of series on the Nintendo DS called Lost in Blue, which wasn't very good because it forgot some of the key aspects of what made Survival Kids good. And it's that, it's weirdly enough, it's a starvation se sequence that they have in it, which made its way into the Metal Gear games, weirdly enough. But yeah, Survival Kids would be a wonderful remake. Just don't do the Lost in Blue thing. Just nice, pretty game. Wonderful game. Keep it as close to the original and uh, the little sequel as possible. And then for a before we get into our last one, there's a series, I'd two series I'd like to see make it to the Nintendo Switch. And one of those, I'm just going to show you the Game Boy and Game Boy Color versions of that. So... Another series, that, a series I'd like to see make it to the Switch in some form would be the Crazy Castle series. We're looking at Bugs Bunny's Crazy Castle 1, 2, and 3. And these are some fantastic games. They're pretty good. Um, the basic idea is you play as Bugs Bunny or, in some case, some things, Woody Woodpecker. And you uh, go and you collect keys, boxing gloves, etc. while avoiding enemies and um, trying to find a certain amount of stuff to escape, escape each level. 
it's pretty old school. It'd make a pretty good little, um, it'd make a good side project for whoever has those licenses, or rather the license to that engine. Now, one, the next one I'd like to, like to mention before I get to the game that I'd really like to see remade for the Nintendo Switch, and it would be this series right here. There's three of them on the Nintendo Game Boy, Col Game Boy and Game Boy Color, and this series really should show up on here because you could just do one, have all of it on there, and all the little remakes, and it would be wonderful. And the multiplayer stuff in here would be cool too. And I'm talking about Game and Watch Gallery. Now there's technically four of these. There's Game Bo Game Game Boy Gallery in Japan, which is a kind of a stripped down version of Game & Watch Gallery. Game & Watch Gallery is technically Game Boy Gallery 2. And then Game & Watch Gallery 3, 4, and then 4 on the, four on the um, Game Boy Advance is 5 technically. But Game, Game Boy Gallery didn't really make it out of Japan. The ones that did are the Game & Watch Gallery games. They have old Game & Watch games, a lot of hidden stuff. The Game & Watch games are faithfully recreated and <laughs> they have um, spruced up graphic versions of that. Now there's two Game & Watch collections for the Nintendo DS that were Club Nintendo exclusive, so it's nice that Nintendo still appreciates these. And there was Game & Wario for the Wii U, and uh, that's okay. But let's get into the game I'd really like to see. Spruced up with some like cell shaded graphics or something, some really nice backgrounds, and just maybe a little bit of rebalancing for it. Rebalancing for it, and uh, that would be this game right here. What is this game? It's the last game on this little list, and uh, it is, of course, Shantae for the Game Boy Color. Yes. Oh, just so you know, this is this is Survival Kids. Look at look at Survival Kids. Let's let's bring it into focus. Survival Kids. Yay! But yeah. Shantae. So, this is my list of 10 Game Boy and Game Boy Color games that should get remastered for the Nintendo Switch. They are as follows. Solar Striker, Bubble Ghost, Revenge of the Gator, Castlevania Legends, Kirby's Block Ball, Donkey Kong 94, The Mole Mania, Metal Gear Solid, Survival Kids, and Shantae. Now, are there games that you think should be on this list? And are there games that aren't on this list, you know, that you think should be on it? Go ahead and tell me in the comments below. Hit that thumbs up, hit that share button, hit that subscribe button. Ring that little bell so you're notified whenever there's a brand new video here on Area DMG. But yeah, hit those comments. Let me know. Let me know what DS or Game Boy Advance games you'd like to see on here. Now, there's a lot of old NES games that got weirdly ported over to the Game Boy and Game Boy Color that are already on the NES collection or have weird little, um remakes or whatnot. There's a Crystallis on the Game Boy Color is a remix of the original NES one. The original NES one's available in SNK Classics. And then a bunch of other ones are available elsewhere. Like for example, there's Dragon's Lair on the Game Boy Color. Dragon's Lair on the Game Boy Color is available in its perfect arcade version on the Nintendo Switch as a collection with Space Ace, Dragon Lair, and Dragon's Lair 2. So uh, yeah. Now, we will do some sequel series videos. We're going to go through the Game Boy Advance stuff and pick out 10 from there. We may have to do multiples of those because there's a lot. And I already know what my other 10 will be for the Game Boy and Game Boy Color stuff. And there's stuff I didn't mention in this video. Oh, <gasps> gasp! So, uh, yeah, let me know in the comments below what you think. Um, let me know. Let, let me know what Game Boy games you remember and that aren't alleyway. Um, I can't get through a Game Boy Game Boy Color thing without mentioning that uh, one, you need to go play Tetris DX. I sorry, Tetris 99. It feels like, um, te well, it feels like the multiplayer stuff from Tetris, but with some of the weird hold mechanics from from Tetris DS, and then some of the weird gravity from Tetris DX. I mean, there's almost near infinite spins in parts of it, and that's kind of a little bad. And there's the holding, which I don't like. I feel like that ruins a lot of the stuff about Tetris, but hey, for competitive Tetris, if you have the online, go get Tetris 99. And there's some other stuff here that I could bring out and mention, but I'm going to save it for another video. So yeah, there you go. There's my first 10 or so. Game Boy games I would like to see ported, rather, report, report, reported? No, um, 
transported, remastered for the Nintendo Switch. So, what do you think? Let me know in the comments below. And until the next video comes out, you are now caught up. Morning, Maya.